Hi book lovers! Welcome back to my channel. We are less than a week away from August, which means August new releases. So I thought I'd make this video about the upcoming August 2019 books that I'm excited for, books that I think that should be on your radar. So let's get to it! First up, my most anticipated August 2019 read, one that actually I've already read, um, but it's my number one release. I can't wait for it to come out and for everyone to read it, and that is Sapphire Flames by Alona Andrews. This is a paranormal romance, book four in the Hidden Legacy series, although it can be read as a standalone just because it's about a different couple. The first three books were about Nevada and Rogan, and this fourth book is about Nevada's sister, Catalina, and her love interest who is Alessandro. You guys, this book is so, so good. I loved Nevada and Rogan, the first three books, um, and Catalina definitely lives up to her sister's story. I'm currently obsessed with Alessandro. Sandro. I love the tension between them. I love Catalina's sense of humor. I love how charming Alessandro is. Um, the book isn't like explicitly steamy or anything. There's no sex scenes yet, but they have this one kiss that is so full of some amazing chemistry and tension. When I read that kiss, that was honestly um, better than some explicit sex scenes that I've read. So this is a paranormal romance. Um, the world building is amazing, which is why you probably should read the first three books first. Um, in this world, we have magic users, normal humans, the heroine Catalina, her magic power is the ability to make anyone fall in love with her, so she uses that to her advantage as a private investigator. And on her newest job, she comes across Alessandro, who she has met before. He's like this Italian prince um, of one of the most powerful magical families. The book is definitely slow burn. It develops across um, however many books that Catalina is supposed to have, probably three like um, the original series. If you love the first three books, you will love Sapphire Flames. It's so good. I already want the sequel to it. Um, we don't know the exact release date, only that it's next year, but that is still way too far away from me. Next up is J.R. Ward! Of course, the Queen of Paranormal Romance is on my list for August 2019. Her next Black Dagger Legacy book, Blood Truth, is out on August 13th. This book is about Boone, who we have met throughout the Legacy series. He's one of the trainees in the Black Dagger Brotherhood program, and from the blurb, it looks like we're gonna get to see a lot of Butch, Jessica's favorite brother. Um, I mean, I like Butch, don't get me wrong. He's adorable sometimes, like his love for all things high-end fashion and his romance with V, who I love. But yeah, it's G.R. Ward, The Black Dagger Brotherhood. Of course, I'm excited for it. Next up is Broken Night by L.J. Shen. This is book two in her All Saints High series. This is like a mature young adult slash new adult series characters are in high school but there are explicit scenes. This won't be out until later in the month though but I'm so excited for it. Um, the first book was good. I didn't love it but I mean I enjoyed it. It's Elder Shen. I love her writing. I love her character development and I'm just super excited for Night's story. We don't have a blurb for it quite yet but it's kind of pointing towards um, Luna being his heroine. Luna is the oldest of the second generation of characters. I'm sure it'll be super angsty, super dramatic. I mean, I would have preferred it to be Vaughn just because he is the one that I'm waiting for the most, but I'm sure I'll probably end up loving Knight's story and whoever he ends up with. Next is a book that I've been waiting years for from one of my favorite authors. It's Butterfly and Frost by Sylvia Day. Um, it's been like, what, two, three years since her last release, the last book of the Crossfire series, one of my all-time favorite series. So I'm super excited that she's finally releasing another book. It's been a long time coming. I'm still waiting on that duet she promised at the end of Crossfire. But of course I can settle for this one. This is publishing with Mon Lake Romance and the hero and heroine are new neighbors. And it seems like the hero is that moody, tormented kind of alpha hero. I believe one of the main characters is either a nurse or a doctor, so there's like a hospital setting. Sylvia Day is an autobi author for me, well, even though it's been quite a while since she released the book. But I was super happy that she announced a book, and I'm definitely going to read it. This next one is one that I just read um, yesterday. I finished it in a day. It was so good. It's a second chance romance, and that is Stay Still Love Me by K.A. Tucker. K. 
Tucker is an amazing writer. She wrote The Simple Wild, which was one of my favorite books from last year, and this one is definitely going on my favorites list for 2019. The hero and heroine met at summer camp while they were teenagers. They met, fell in love. It was super sweet, super cute, but by the end of the summer, um, the hero pretty much ghosted the heroine, and 13 years later he shows up at the building that she works as the new security guard. It's super romantic, super sweet. I love the way things unfolded. It's like told in past present um, point of views. It kind of reminded me of Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren, so if you love that book you'll probably enjoy this one too. Next up is a Kristen Ashley novella called Quiet Man. This is part of her Dream Man series, but it's also kind of like a setup to her brand new series releasing in 2020. Quiet Man is a novella. The heroine has a stalker, so she hires a bodyguard. The bodyguard is the hero. The bodyguard hero seems like he's gonna be my favorite kind of hero who is grumpy, gruff, quiet, and a little bit scary. Next is Tessa Dare's next historical romance release, which is The Wallflower Wager. This is book three in the Girl Meets Duke series. The hero is like a rags to riches kind of man, um, and his neighbor is an eccentric heroine who loves rescuing um, stray animals. Um, he wants them gone um, off his property, but she makes him a deal that if he can find new homes for them, then she'll get rid of them, which is such a cute premise. Like, I love this quirky heroine, especially ones who care for animals. Um, I read another Tessa Dare book uh, where the heroine owns some lobsters. I really enjoyed Tessa Dare's writing, her humor. I have this one on my Kindle. I haven't read it yet, but I will be soon. Another historical romance that y'all need to have on your TBRs is is How to Love a Duke in 10 Days by Kerrigan Byrne. This is the first book in her brand new series, Devil You Know. I read it and it was so good. I love Kerrigan Byrne's writing. I love the way that she writes heroes who are on the darker side, definitely moody. I really enjoyed this one. This is a solid um, start to a new series. The heroine has been extorted for years, being blackmailed for money, and she's pretty much out of it by now, and so she finds the wealthiest bachelor she can find, who is the Duke of Redmayne, Piers, and she proposes marriage to him. The love story is intense, emotional, um, although there are some charming and funny parts. Also a trigger warning for those who want to read it, there is a rape scene in the prologue. The heroine gets raped by a principal figure at the school she went to as a teenager, so just keep that in mind while you read. Next up is the third book in one of my favorite series. Um, the series is pretty much about a group of male strippers. Um, if you loved Magic Mike, the series is for you, um, and the book is called Flashed by Zoe Castile. This is the third book in the Happy Ending series. It can be read as a standalone. They're all about different couples. This is Patrick's story. He is your classic playboy, um, a former soccer player, a stripper, and a model, and he ends up falling for his housekeeper, who is an aspiring artist um, trying to pay her way through college. I'm excited to read this one. I haven't yet. But I really adore the series. If you haven't read Stripped or Hired, the first two books, you definitely should. Next is Unbreak Me by Michelle Hazen. When Berkeley sent this to me, I was super excited to read it. Um, the blurb sounded amazing. I've been holding off on it for some reason, but I'm definitely going to get to it soon. It's set on a horse ranch. The heroine um, was assaulted in college, so she lives a pretty secluded life. Her new hire um, for her horses is a Haitian Creole cowboy from New Orleans, and he pretty much bakes his way into her heart with some cakes. It has some western cowboy feel, so I'm super excited for it. Next is That Forever Girl by Megan Quinn. This is the standalone sequel to one of my favorite books of the year, um, That Second Chance. Um, this is a small town romance about a group of four brothers who were cursed in love. This book is about the youngest brother, Rogan, and his second chance with the former love of his life who returns back to their small town. I can't wait to read this one. 
I absolutely love this small town in the first book. I love their family. I love these brothers. Plus it's a second chance romance, which is my favorite. Next up is Discretion by Karina Halley. This is the first book in her new Dumont series about a very wealthy family. Um, the heroine is not wealthy. The heroine is a poor student. She ends up being saved by the heir to the Dumont family fortune um, and also France's most eligible bachelor. I love these Clash of the Classes um, romances. I love rich heroes. Karina Halley is a bit of a hit or miss author for me, but I have high hopes for this one. The cover is super sexy and I'm excited to see how this series will turn out. This next one is by one of my favorite authors, Kristen Becker Ritchie. Um, they wrote a young adult duology. This book is the second and last book of the series and it is The Last Hope. Um, this is the sequel to The Raging Ones. I haven't read The Raging Ones yet, um, but this is a sci-fi young adult romance series. Krista and Becca are one of my favorite contemporary new adult authors, so I'm excited to get into something that is not contemporary from them. This next book is actually my next read. It is The Right Swipe by Alicia Rye. This book is about a heroine who is a dating app creator, um, but she's also cynical in love. She matches with a former professional football player who ends up ghosting her. And when she sees him again, he is working with a rival company. It sounds really good. It sounds very modern, um, all about dating, dating apps. I'm not too familiar with this, but I'm excited to see how it goes. This last one that I'm super excited for um, is Moti on the Water by Layla Adder. The cover just screams summer, summer romance. I'm very intrigued by this blurb, um, the heroine is Jinx. She is going to her cousin's upcoming wedding on a yacht. She wants to seduce the best man but instead falls for the chef. It's set on the Aegean coast. Um, definitely seems like the perfect summer read. I have read one other book by Layla Adder, The Paper Swan. That book was super intense, got a little dark. This one seems a little bit more lighthearted and plus the hero is a chef. I love a hero who can cook so I'm definitely going to read it. So those were my most anticipated reads of August 2019. There were quite a lot more than I expected, but I do want to mention a couple more by authors who I have read before, and they are The Last Post by Renee Carlino, um, Feast of Sparks by Sierra Simone, The First Girl Child by Amy Harmon, The Candle Palace by Devney Perry, and Handle with Care by Helena Hunting. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any upcoming August 2019 releases you're excited for, please let me know so we can share in the hype. And as always, I will leave the um, links to these books that I mentioned in the description below. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!